Long weekends lend themselves so well to leisurely road trips. My family and I love taking long road trips. And when we do, I never pack anything for the way. Because half the fun of actually doing a road trip is to sit at a dhaba with a steaming hot tandoori roti and something yummy to accompany it. For this, we need bhuna masala for dals and vegetables, some paneer, some capsicum or shimla mirch, oil, some lemon juice, some cumin seeds, garam masala, some red chilli powder, and some turmeric powder. And to garnish, fresh coriander. I'm going to start by prepping my paneer. I'm going to cut my paneer into long pieces. So just keep your paneer in a bowl and keep it aside. Cut capsicum into long strips, more or less the same size as the paneer. Just enables it to cook at the same pace. Just make sure you've got all the seeds off. Kadhai paneer is a great way to get your kids to eat capsicum. We're going to start with a little bit of oil. Make sure your oil is hot before you add in the cumin seeds. Once you get that wonderful aroma of the jeera, you can add in your Maggi Bhuna Masala. The Maggi Bhuna Masala for dals and vegetables is a ready mix of tomatoes and onions, cooked in refined oil and contains no added preservatives. It helps to shorten and speed up the cooking process. Once you put in your Bhuna Masala, you can add in your dry masalas. That's some garam masala, some red chilli powder and some haldi. Stir that around and make sure the masalas cook well. I've always associated kadhai paneer as being a really heavy dish. You know, it's typically served at shadis and dhabas. But with the Maggi Bhuna Masala, because it's made with just one tablespoon of oil, it's one of the healthiest dishes that you can have. I'm now ready to add in the capsicum or shimla mirch. Just pop that all in and saute it for a few minutes. You know, kadhai paneer is one of those dishes which is quite complete because it's got the vegetables, it's got the protein from the paneer. So even if you choose not to make a second vegetable or a dal, you're doing okay with just a roti or a rice on the side. Saute your capsicum till they're almost cooked, but still have a little bit of bite in them. We're now ready to add in our paneer. Be gentle with this so you don't break it when you're putting it in. You need to gently stir this so your paneer is almost tumbling over the capsicum. And I'm going to add a little lemon juice to give some punch to the dish. One more quick stir to make sure the lemon juice is mixed in with the paneer. And I'm ready to plate and serve this. The lovely green of the capsicum with the colour of the paneer looks really tempting. The paneer is now ready. It just needs a few final touches, which is our garnish. Some fresh coriander. You don't always have to go to a dhaba to get dhaba-style khana. This is kadhai paneer, home style.